Chris, uh, we're nine games into the season, a quarter of the way through it. You know, how have you found your time at Harps so far? Uh, my time at Harps has been good, interesting. It's been a bit tough at the start of the season, uh, getting injured before the season. But I came back and it's been good training-wise. The lads are really hungry to keep pushing on every week to get another three points onto the board. So, yeah. Yeah, we have good ambitions. Good. Well, look, we've uh, Athlone coming up on Friday. We've played them once before up here. Yeah. Different prospect on the Astro pitch down yeah. there. You know, you looking forward to it. Yeah, looking forward to it. The lads would be ready anyway. Uh, for us as a group, our job is doesn't matter where we play. Our our objective every Friday is just to continue getting three points and continue to keep the pressure on top of whoever is in front of us, whoever's ahead of us and whatnot, and we just have object objectives ourselves to go out and do the job that's asked of us really from yeah. the fans. Yeah, well look, at the start of the season, I don't think too many people would have been back in Finn Harps to be pushing Cork City at the yeah. top of the league, you know, and shows the, the strength that's in the dressing room at the minute that we are pushing them. Yeah, the strength in the dressing room, there's a lot of competition in the squad, which is good, which is what you'd want as a player and also for Murph as a manager it's good because you could give him a headache you see because you have such good players in the room so and unfortunately only 11 can start but it's good because it keeps the standards high in training the players that are hungry like myself you could say and others that maybe are looking for a few minutes here and there and also the starters as well to keep doing their jobs which is good because it's good to have competition in the group it shows that there's a desire to play. Yeah, and for yourself, you know, obviously coming in on loan, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a different sort of prospect. You yeah. would, you, you've obviously played here before for yeah. Bowes as well, you know, so it's 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 not unfamiliar territory. Yeah. But yeah. you know, you're finding yourself getting a few minutes here yeah. and there, and it's, that's what it's about for yeah. you. Right? Yeah, um, I've started getting more minutes than I'd like, more minutes which I'd like to get. So it all started obviously treaty. So that was a good experience. So yeah, just kicked on from there and I hope to keep going yeah really yeah. as much time it doesn't matter how long I get on the pitch just try help the team as much as I can because at the end of the day it's a it's a team sport group collective so you know you don't want to be the one to let the lads down on a Friday night yeah and obviously you talk about that uh, team spirit you have a couple of lads looking on here behind you you know how, how have you found uh, living along with the lads here no yeah living with the lads and training and stuff like that it's been good Training intensity is always high and we always try to keep it as high as possible because it's important that we train as we'd like to play, you know, so it's important that we keep that level up and that standard really because once you drop it, it's hard to really get back on again. So while they're going good, keep the standards up. Yeah, we're looking to see a, a big away support in Athlone on Friday. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it'd be good to, ha to have a good support out there in Athlone, but Support, no support, we're all here, 17, 20 players, we're all, we're all going to be there to do a job on a Friday night and get the three points and the fans are only there to help us. It all comes from within the group, how bad you want the three points and fans, no fans should be able to conquer what you're going out to do, really, yeah.